In this video, we are going to show how to clean an outdoor point cloud. To do this, we first select the work area we are interested in using the polygon selection tool, leaving out the areas with less definition and density of points. Once we have selected the points, we use the filter selection tool to keep only the selected points. After this filtering operation, we observe that there are noise points at the bottom of the point cloud. These points can be a problem for surface or terrain grid generation operations, automatic classification, etc. So let's select and remove those noise points. To do that, we use the point selection by elevation tool, which allows us to visualize the points that are going to be selected as we adjust the elevation parameters. Once we visually check that all the noise points are going to be selected, we accept the dialog and the points are selected. We hide the selection of points with the hide selection command. Next, we homogenize the point density of the cloud using the point selection by density tool. In this example, points that are less than one centimeter away from other points will be selected. You can clearly see that in the point cloud, there are certain areas of higher point density next to other areas of lower density. We hide the selected points as we consider them redundant for our purposes. We're also going to hide the isolated points which are too far apart from other points as they don't contribute anything to surface and grid generation operations, nor to automatic classification. In this case, we're going to select points that have two or less neighboring points within 25 centimeters. Isolated points are usually found on the outer perimeter of the point cloud. Isolated points also appear in hidden or shadowed areas due to obstacles present at the time of data capture. We then hide the selected isolated points, leaving us with a point cloud with less noise and more homogeneous density. Finally, we make a clone or copy of the cleaned point cloud, not including the points that have been hidden by the previous operations. You could delete the original point cloud and work from this point on with the clean point cloud. If we look at the properties of both point clouds in the project panel, we can see that the original point cloud had more than 20 million points, whereas the clean point cloud has only 12 million points, which will reduce the workload in subsequent computational processes. 